Hey everyone, Isaiah here at SoFo Survival. We spend so much of our time every day away from our homes, away from work, in our vehicles. I'm all about helping you guys be prepared. Our aim is to help you get prepared for all of the crazy things that might happen to you while you're out and about. Think about the different scenarios that you might find yourself in when you're out in your vehicle. Maybe you are in an accident yourself. What if you found yourself upside down? Maybe your battery dies, maybe you get stranded out in the middle of nowhere, maybe you run out of gas. What do you have in your vehicle that's gonna help you get out of that situation and survive and get home safely to your family? All right, everyone, so I put together this vehicle survival kit checklist in order to help you get organized and, and think of the things that you might need. All right, so every kit is an individual thing. Your kit is gonna be tailored to you, your climate, where you live, uh, your skill set. As a general idea, Think about the scenario that you might find yourself in. What are the things that I wish I had with me in that scenario? You've got to consider who's going to be with you and the, the setting that you might be in. Another thing to think about is that you actually might use stuff on a daily basis that are in your kit. I use stuff in mine all the time, and so I'm needing to replenish those things periodically. Another thing you might want to consider is what are the things that I want to have in arm's reach if I were to be in a car accident or pinned in my vehicle or upside down disoriented, you might think about uh, having a tourniquet or a fire extinguisher or a glass breaker, seat belt cutter, something like that. All right, another thing to consider is making sure that you know where everything is and how to use every single item in your kit. Go through and take the time and take the effort to make sure that you know how to use your first aid equipment, how to apply a tourniquet. All right, let's dive into it. I'll show you what I've got. Okay guys, let's dive into this thing. As I go through this, I'm gonna show you the items that I keep in my kit, and you'll see that this is probably gonna be different than the type of kit that you might put together. There's a lot of things in this kit that you'll see that you maybe never use as well. Like maybe it just sits in the bag forever, but there might be that situation where you actually do need it. So that's why I like to have it. I use on a, maybe not a day-to-day -day basis, but, but pretty often. So like for instance, my leather gloves. I use these ones all the time when I'm, when I'm loading stuff in my truck or whatever it might be, changing a tire. I keep a couple of beanies. You never know, even in the summertime, you're up in the mountains, you might have a waterproof jacket that comes in handy quite often no matter what time of year it is there's a notebook this is my Sawyer water filter I like to keep a lot of food so these peak refuel meals are awesome they're freeze-dried you can just add water to them and rehydrate them there's actually another waterproof jacket that I've got extra pair of socks here's my stove the jet boil so this thing is awesome my fuel and everything is right inside there all right, power is one of those things that's really important. I've got a little solar panel, a little power bank, and then inside this, this is actually my emergency checklist or my, my list of frequencies and phone numbers. Having a communication or a method of communication is really important. I've got hand warmers, bug repellent, wet wipes, some lotion, some super glue. Here I've got a flare, I've got uh, Hell's Fire that I developed and patented, and I always keep that with me. A couple of lighters, ferro rods, uh, signal flares that act as a great fire starter, some matches. All right, in here we've got a compass, a deck of cards for entertainment, waterproof notebook, and then here's my little survival guide. All right, this bag is my lighting bag. I've got a couple of flashlights, extra batteries. This is a solar lantern, a couple of headlamps, and some glow sticks. This bag, we've got a couple of emergency bivvies. It's like a, a Mylar bag that's a sleeping bag style. Duck tape some paracord snacks and food very important okay emergency rations some sugars just a quick little energy shot some beef jerky i like to keep these little water pouches and then i've always got a couple of these water containers floating around in here too a way that you can collect more water usually i keep that full in there so i have plenty of water with me then this bag is cutlery i've got several different knives i've got a, a saw two different knives, a razor blade, a hatchet. You never know what you might need those things for. Next thing, I've got this folding shovel. Comes in really handy if you need to dig a hole, dig yourself out of some snow, whatever, mud. But it's not over. I've got another first aid kit in there. We've got some rapid rope. This stuff is really cool. You can just pull that out. Got a little razor blade. You can use that for whatever you might need to tie down. Of course, I've got extra nine millimeter ammo for my gun. This is a portable jump starter. Really cool uh, little battery pack. You can 
hook these terminals and you can jump start. Like this truck, I can jump it multiple times on one charge. And then of course, a couple of ratchet straps. Aside from the actual bag itself, there's some other things that I keep in my truck. For instance, this hard case, I keep underneath the seat, you know, screwdrivers and zip ties. I've got a hammer, I've got some plastic weld, multi-tools, wrenches, an extra headlamp, pliers. A couple other things that I keep close to me. These two kits are within arm's reach. I keep this in the door of my truck. This is in my center console. Random little tools and stuff. I've got a multi-tool, another pocket knife, some quick clot gauze in case you know something happens. I need to stop some bleeding. Fire starter, gauze, another little like survival book, some duct tape. We've got a tire pressure gauge, an extra magazine for my firearm, lotion, tools, a good quality first aid kit. We designed this first aid kit to be specifically for your vehicle. It's got a tourniquet. It's got quick clot, it's got pressure bandage. Couple more really important items, fire extinguishers. This, I cannot emphasize how important it is to have a fire extinguisher with you in your vehicle. And I like to keep mine underneath the seat in my truck so that I can actually get it. I wanna be able to get at it quickly. With a fire, it is a scary situation. You need to know exactly how to use your fire extinguisher and you need to practice with it. That's that repetition that matters in a stressful situation. And then fuel. Um, I'll keep a couple of these strapped to the inside of my truck bed. Okay, a couple of items you might want to have in the wintertime. Of course, you've got your ice scraper and brush. I like to keep that in there. This shovel comes in super handy. Maybe you need to dig yourself out. One more idea of a way that you might organize your stuff. I have this little chest rig. It's super handy. I can carry the essentials that I need and it's actually compatible with a backpack and I can throw all of the things that I need. So in this one specifically, I have wilderness and survival gear. I've got a water filter, fire starter. This is a little mini um, survival kit. It's got a bunch of different stuff in there. Multi-tool, I've got a flare, some duct tape, a tourniquet, some paracord. All right, so now that we have pulled out the 150 items that I've got in this kit, you don't have to do this all at once. One, it's, it's a lot of stuff, but some of this stuff is pretty expensive and it can cost a lot of money. So stretch that out as you need it. Maybe start at the top of your list and prioritize the most important things that you might need. Do not let this presentation overwhelm you. If you can do one thing a month, that's it. That is better than nothing. You can start there and you can collect. One month, you can do a fire extinguisher. The next month you can do a first aid kit. The month after that, you put some food and some snacks in there. That's awesome, That's the, you're, on, you're working on it, you're on your way. All right, everybody, if you found this content useful, please engage with us, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and, and en engage with us, connect with us, and share the content. It really helps us to continue to create educational content like that. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Life's an adventure, be ready.